Damn, we made it in 2021. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. So, welcome to episode two of the uh, Connie build update. And uh, today we're going to talk about how to replace your steel roof with a carbon roof. Phase one. <laughs> Phase one or phase two? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, so before we even get started, just a quick update as to where we are on the car. Um, we took all of his flares and fixed them up. They had a bunch of cracks and other small weird things going on with them. Um, Reprimed them all. They're all super straight, so they're ready to make molds and everything. But we might be going a different way before I even <laughs> do all that. So I might be doing that again. But um, we got the interior uh, all sprayed. It's just like a matte black. He's gonna cover most of it with an interior anyways, except for like the roll cage and the inside of the roof will still be seen carbon. Um, we've sat and cleared our roof and the bottom half of it has been worked a good bit and primer. With the black stuff you see on there is just guide coat for the primer when I sand it back off. Um, so now we're just gonna jump into our first step, which is going to be cutting the metal skin off. Um, I just noted the line I'm going to be cutting after measuring it inside because there's like little windows where you can see inside so okay. I can actually get away with a little bit more metal to bond to which will make it a little stronger. Once we cut the outside perimeter of this there's actually a beam that goes through the center that has like this foam insulated uh, expanding foam stuff. Um, so we're going to like either just rip it off or do whatever but we actually have more of that here because we do body panel replacements all the time. Like when you replace a quarter or a roof, you have to put the same stuff on or like a door skin on a car. Oh, okay. So um, just in our regular body shop world stuff, we use it all the time. So we're probably gonna have to reuse that stuff. We'll see once we take it off what's actually under there. But Yeah, I'll say this is a popular. Yeah, because we didn't really go over that in that much detail when we did my car. No. Nah. So, and it was like months and months later. Yeah, and, yeah. we were learning as we went. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so we're gonna just go ahead and start cutting. She's heavy. Probably just because it has that sunroof plug in it. So that's a strong possibility. The uh, the foam stuff that I thought was going to be stuck to it does not seem to uh, have held for these 50 years. Convertible Connie. All right, Bill Nye. <laughs> Um, cool, so now we have the perimeter left that we're actually going to glue to. I actually, when I was uh, sanding this, the roof actually flat, um, I screwed it down in a couple places. Since the outside of the roof is not going to be um, bare carbon, it's going to be painted, um, the outside, like running little screws to hold it in, it's a good way to get it exactly flat and uh, not have to use like 30 clamps. But, um, so what I'm gonna do right now is gonna be just grind down this edge of uh, the metal that we're actually gonna bond to, grind all the paint off of it, and do the same thing all the way around it. I think I'm gonna leave this right now. It doesn't look like this was ever actually stuck to it. It's just like a soundproof kind of a... Uh, glue? Yeah, it's not even like a glue. It's like a kind of like a foam rubbery strip type thing. Um, so at least for the first test fit, we're gonna have to go ahead and... But what uh, what what would you do? I guess like the bare metal that's from being the paint being grinded down. Mm. 
we'll so, still go right so up in this case, that. we're going to make sure that we cover all of the bare metal in the epoxy that we're going to end up bonding the roof to. Oh, okay. But if you're going to leave any of this bare metal, you would make sure you at least hit it with etching primer, self-etching primer. You know, that stuff that we used a million times when we were first doing it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, start grinding. Cavity search engage. Um, so we have everything ground down. It's all bare metal. And we're going to be using 3M's Scotch Weld DP420. DP, it's for you, Dave. 420 Blazer Brow and black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, uh, I've never used uh, this stuff before, but um, I usually use the Norton stuff. That's what I use on my roof. But looking into this stuff, it actually seems to be a lot stronger than the Norton stuff that I've been using. At least that's what I've heard on the forums and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and test it because I want Connie to be perfect. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeegee a bunch of this out on this whole thing. And then I'm gonna come back around with the acid brush and make sure I get all of the bare metal. So I'm guessing this helps like uh, secure the metal so it doesn't rust. Is that why you're squeegeeing it? So you're treating it like kind of like paint? Uh, well, so it's it's primary use obviously is to, to it's like a adhesive to glue like the two pieces together. But it is a mechanical bond, not an actual adhesive bond. So that's why you need to make sure that the surface is scratched. Okay. Uh, which is why we have the inside of the roof scratched as well. But the, uh, the second point of that, making sure you're covering everything is, yeah, it's not gonna rust or anything if everything is covered in the actual epoxy. So that's why you wanna make sure you don't have any bare metal, because, I mean, we hate rust, but. Canada? The Canadians, they really hate rust. Just, just ask Pete and Dave. <laughs> Whenever they're like bragging about a car they found, it's because it's rust free. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can definitely appreciate. I mean, it's here in Maryland, we do get some salt on the streets, but I don't, I doubt it's anywhere as bad as up there in Canada. Okay. So, as you can see, all of the epoxy has been spread out. All of the bare metal is covered. I did end up putting a little line in the middle here just to 
hold this, make sure it doesn't vibrate against that middle section. screws through the holes I already had. Then I might run one in each side and use the rest of the clamps. Another Futurama character. Zoidberg? Zoidberg has claws, but there's a there's a robot. There's a stabbing robot and then there's the clamp robot. It's like, I'll give him the clamps or something like that. The one dude that has Zoidbird as his icon that follows us and comments, mm. you know he know. Is his name on YouTube actually like Dr. Zoidbird or something? Possibly. Oh. Upon securing your roof, one must admire the work you have put in. Kind of same day. Send Dave some pictures. Alright, so doesn't really look like we did too much today because it pretty much looks like we have the same thing but it's now spray with gray but this is a carbon roof now it's probably 10 to 12 pounds lighter than the steel one especially with that sunroof hole plugged and all the mud we had to put on it to reshape it um we actually never weighed the the carbon fiber roof but i remember my roof on my 240z was around was it around like six pounds or something like that seven pounds I don't yeah remember. And then my, my roof ended up being 18 pounds. We actually have the, his roof we can waste. So it's a little over 25 pounds. But again, if this was, this was a non-sunroof car and didn't have this welded in piece, and all the body, body filler would probably be a couple pounds, maybe 20 pounds. Yeah. Um, body filler doesn't weigh that much, but. So I, I'd say we probably, safely, we probably saved 14, 15 pounds. Ooh, so now that we made it into the new year, I guess we should go ahead and give a clue to the build that's to come. Ooh, the new build? Okay. So the only two hints I'm gonna give you are, it's an American car with an American power plant. Go ahead, comment below what you think it is. If you do guess it, I will let you know. I'll privately DM you or just comment back. But I, you're not gonna guess it. <laughs> I'm like 99.9% .9 sure nobody's gonna guess it. There's no way. Okay, so that's how you bond on a carbon fiber roof. Uh, the next bit for Connie Salica is gonna be uh, actually blending this out and then painting the whole car. So you get to see the actual color that Dave chose in the next Connie update. Um, like always, thank you for everybody. Uh, like the only reason we can get to this point is because everybody's you know supporting us with shirts and stuff like that. So if you bought a shirt, we really appreciate it, especially over Hell the holiday yeah. season and stuff like that. And also for anyone that just subscribes, if you don't have the money to buy a shirt or you don't want a shirt, that's fine. Thank you for subscribing.